Hey, 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 this your boy Ray Mack. We're about to do us some oven baked chicken thighs. First thing we want to do is clean our chicken up. So I'm using some vinegar and some salt water here to clean up my chicken. You can clean up however you want. Now after we've cleaned the chicken up, let's go ahead and trim up some of these here thighs. So I'm using thighs because that's the best piece of chicken that I like on a bird. So I'm just taking a sharp knife and just trimming up some of the skin and the fat. Now we're going to set our oven temperature to 425 degrees. Some of y'all saying, man, that's too high. No, it's not. 425 degrees. Go ahead and freeze your oven. So now we're going to take some Cajun seasoning and we're going to season our chicken. The first pieces that we want to, we want to season the skin first. All right. And there's a reason why I'm telling you to do this first. So take your Cajun seasoning and season the skin. Then we're going to add some paprika. Add your garlic powder. Let's go ahead and add us some of this here onion powder. Now we're gonna add some of this here um, lemon pepper seasoning. It's called It's Lit Lemon Pepper. This was created by Misha from Misha's Corner. If you guys wanna check out a, an awesome cook, go over there to Misha's Corner. A link down is down below in the description box. Check out some of her recipes, you'll love them. Now we're gonna add some of this here black pepper to the skin as well. Now I want you to take you a sheet of parchment paper, put it on a baking um, sheet pan, and I want you to take your chicken and place it skin side down. All right, take the seasoned skin side and place it down on your baking sheet. So right now at this particular time, we're gonna take all of our seasonings that we just used to season the skin up and we're gonna season the back side of this here meat. And I'm telling you right now, once you try this meat, it's gonna be so flavorful. Your taste buds is gonna thank you and love you and they probably end up giving you a hug at the same time. Right now, I want you to go ahead and place your chicken in the oven. Let it cook for about one hour. Once your chicken is done, I want you to take a thermometer, check your internal temperature. Make sure it reads 165 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, take a fork and poke the middle of that um, chicken thigh and see if your juices would run clear. If you still have some blood running, put it back in the oven let it cook so right now at this particular point in time while we have the chicken out it's been cooking for at least around about an hour in the oven we want to go ahead and flip our bird flip these over the up to the other side because what we're going to do now is crisp up this here skin how are we going to crisp up the skin why you want to ask a question like that i got the answer for you yes here we go here's the answer this is what we're going to do we're gonna go ahead, man, and um, set our oven on broiler on high. Set your broiler on high. Now, once you got your broiler set, I want you to take your chicken and place that chicken back in the oven. Let it sit up under the broiler for about four minutes. Don't you go nowhere. You stand there and you watch it because that broiler might burn your bird. So you can have this chicken with whatever type of size you like. You know what I'm saying? And look how golden and that chicken looks so good. Don't forget your hot sauce. Get your hot sauce. 
So what I have here for size is some fried cabbage. If you want to see a recipe with this fried cabbage, just comment below and let me know you want to see that recipe. And I hope you guys give this here oven fried, I'm sorry, oven baked chicken thighs a try. Thank you so much for checking out Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill. Now, I want you to also subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please also watch these videos for up and coming other videos as well. I love you guys. Love and not hate. Peace.